Hello, Max. How are you doing today? Welcome to JR Studio. We have one friend today. Is that a robot? Is it your friend robot? Oh. Do you like robot friends? We all gonna do some drawing and painting today? Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Yoon from JR2 Studio. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint the 100 roses with a glove. You're going to use a watercolor with just a little bit of water. You're going to test it on a separate paper, but gently press down and do some testing. And if it looks good, then you're going to paint about 100 roses around the Arbor, like that. And then you can add a leaves of a rose. And normally they have a five or three leaves are on a stem. So you're gonna keep adding lots and lots of leaves around the roses. Make sure you, you use a very fine tip of brush. And also mix with some yellow and yellowish green and add some blue and make a bluish green. Once it's done, now we're gonna paint the ground. Paint the yellow light color first and then you can get some big old brush, kind of beat up brush is fine. And use some dry paint of green and you can make grasses like that. Now adding a sky with a pastel and carve the pastel with the edge of the scissor and make it into powder a little bit. And I wanna keep the arbor white. So I'm gonna cover the arbor and then smudge it background blue so you can have a sort of blue sky just a little bit of bottom part cover the other side and smudge it then inside the arbor bar is white do the same thing on the other side and the careful one thing that all the paint has to be dry before you get onto the pastel i'm gonna adding a bird and i'm gonna paint Blue Jay, right there. Okay. I came up with some creative ideas using a glove. I already did a project for the age group 7 to 11. You can check the video and see how it turned out, the project out of uh, um, using a glove. The unique way to create uh, roses as you see here, it came out really nice. And then you can make a very fast, you can make about 100 roses in a minute, okay, by using a latex glove. But it has to be a stretchable kind of latex glove. Make sure you get the brand new one, okay? You don't get the glove that is, uh, you know, around the floor or something, don't pick that up. Okay, make sure the clean one because you gotta open up and blow like a balloon. <sighs> like this, okay? And then you're gonna tie this end and then you're gonna have a, looks uh, somewhat like a chicken head kind of balloon. And then using the tip right here, the thumb tip, and then you're gonna stamp it, okay? So I'm gonna show you, get a little bit of thicker paper any color paper is fine. So this one, I made a card. Uh, these days, I, I miss a lot of people, my friends, my, uh, my families and all that. I might make a personal card. And uh, also inside, uh, you can make a personal design. And also at the back, you can also sign it, who designed it, okay? And then you can write a personal note and saying, I miss you all kind of, okay? So this is a great way to create a card. So let me try to show you. So you're gonna fold the paper half like this, right? 
as you seen the earlier video, you want to use a watercolor and create a flowers like that. And then we're going to draw the, some stem and the leaves around. And make sure you're adding uh, some light greens and dark greens all around them. And get some string and you can put some design on it like that. Okay? And uh, something like this. Now inside you can design or on the back I'm going to show you how to make one rose. Always a practice on a separate paper. And adding a leaf. And you can sign it. Great. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.